What's up, YouTube fam? Welcome back to the channel. So, I'm, gonna show, I'm, gonna, I'm skipping a bunch of videos now to post this one so you guys can see it. Um, so I'm gonna confess a few things on this video now. Not really confess, I'm just gonna tell you what's up, what we got planned for the Bronco. Uh, so this is a Bronco video. Plans for the Bronco. And I do have some things already here. So I'm gonna show you guys that. Two different pro two different projects, two different ideas I'm gonna do. That's a process. So it's not gonna happen tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, hopefully next year. Let's see what happens. But I'm gonna flip the camera and I'm gonna show you guys. Let's get this one going. So for those that follow me on Instagram, have already seen it. So we got Yes, it's covered right now. I know whatever. But yes. See what I got up there? Yes. We got a power stroke for the Bronco. Um, I got the cover for it. I was just covered up to get out of the rain. I can already see there's water in there, so there's maybe shit. But whatever. Um, I will do some videos on this. Um, probably towards the end of this year, maybe the next six months, more or less. I'm gonna start tearing this apart. I'm gonna rebuild it. Um, it's a learning process. Never done a diesel, um, so we're gonna learn. Uh, so if anybody has done diesels, you know, seven threes in specific, um, hit me up. Send me some info. Things to look out for. Things that should definitely change while it's apart. I'd be greatly appreciated. I also got the four D for it. Two wheel drive. Obviously, I have it covered up right now, guys. But also got that covered up. But, um, Yes, the bed for the OBS is right here. Yeah, all the OBS shit is right here. Yes, the single cab is apart. You guys have not seen that yet. I have not posted the videos of that yet. I'm super behind on videos, guys. Sorry, but I wanna try and post. I'm gonna try and actually double post. I have a part one for the Bronco and I'm gonna throw this one in the mix as well right after. And then I'll catch back up with the Bronco ones and then I'll jump to the OBS ones. Um, it's a process, guys, I'm sorry. But yeah, so the train is here. Um, that's what we got i mean that's what we got going on i do have one other project that i suggested it in the video yes the obs is all apart in here guys yes the ford stamped tailgate i will be adding that into the round uh, some of you guys did catch it and hit me up on it and asked me so yes that Ford stamp tailgate will be for the Bronco. Um, so hopefully the next couple of months, actually I will be pulling the top off. Okay, actually, let me show you guys this slam now, that you guys can see it. Um, but hopefully the next couple of months, I gotta fix some rust under the top. And then, um, I might go ahead and start doing the tailgate to one shot. But, so you guys can see it. It's a little part that all messed up there in the grass, but there she is so she will be stamped tailgate fix some rust in the two corners right there both sides and then power stroke swapped pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool something different so see what happens oh you guys want to see it there's a godzilla in it it's a crown big swap and a godzilla I know I have not posted these videos yet, so I, you guys gotta give me some time to catch up. But yes, the Crown Vic suspension is in it, so is the Godzilla and the 10 speed. It is all in there. I have a mess right now, all the Bronco shit, but we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. I will do more videos on this truck, I promise. It's a lot of content for this one. I probably got three, four videos worth right now that I still have to do, so we're not there yet. I'm talking about Bronco. <laughs> so. Yeah, guys, that's uh, the latest Bronco update. Uh, I will have a video of lowering the Bronco, everything I had to go through to figure it out to get it to, to work. Then that video will be coming out soon. And uh, in the next few months, well, then I'm gonna say, hopefully, the next two, three months, I'll catch up on the other videos of everything else I've done to the Bronco and the single cab as well. So, let me flip the camera. So, guys, I was telling you, I'm gonna catch up. I know I'm super behind on videos. We'll catch up. Okay, we have time to go get a haircut. 
I will catch up, I promise. Um, so there's it's a lot. It's a lot I got going on. It's a lot. You can see just all the truck is in the garage. So uh, that's all stripped. And right now it's the 10 bolts that holding that truck together. So. Uh, but yeah, guys, I will be catching up in the next few months. Hopefully in the next five or six, I'll be taking apart the power stroke right there behind me. Start rebuilding that. We're also going to rebuild the E4OD. I'll do plenty of videos on that. My dad used to do trannies from at the dealer back in the early 90s, late 80s, early 90s, stuff like that. He used to do E4OD is brand new. You know, he used to work on brand new. So, uh, he's a tranny guy. He doesn't do it anymore, but it's going to help me out to do it, to do this one. Uh, so we're going to rebuild that deal. So I'll do a video of that, do a video of the power stroke. Um, again, if anybody's done power strokes before, can tell me any tips, any, hey, look out for this, look out for that, change this while you have it apart. This is a notorious problem. I'm not very familiar with diesel. Yes, I have one. I have not having to do many things to it. I have to change the fuel pump ones, fuel bowl, inject the module, took a shit once. I mean, little shit. I put an exhaust in it, I put an intake in it, you know, like, I put some better caps. You know, like, that's what I have to do to that deal. Um, so nothing crazy, so. So, yeah. Uh, like always guys, like, comment, subscribe, share, share with everybody, let's blow this page up. Let's see, maybe I hit 500 subscribers, I'll do some kind of giveaway. So I was planning on having some shirts made, the logo, maybe with the Bronco in the back now, I don't know, who knows. I think that would be pretty cool. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. And you guys would be interested in a shirt like that, that has the Bronco in the background. On the back of the shirt, the Bronco, slammed. Uh, it's an idea, maybe the dually, aired out. Give me some ideas, guys. Give me some ideas. Um, let's blow the page up. Let's get to 500. Um, let's come up with an idea for some kind of shirts, maybe, or hats or something. And have a mate, and we'll do a giveaway. So share it. Let's hit 500. Until next time, guys, we'll meet back in the garage area. Garage. Side of the, side of the garage. Front of the garage. Garage.